So do you know the set count between these two players? I couldn't tell you, no. Um, I don't know how often they play. I don't even know how often JJ plays against Fox, so we'll just see how it goes. I know, uh, JJ's in his recent, he's got a uh, slow Joe. Yeah. Oh! Fair to footstool. Uh, oh. 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 Strong sorry. This is not a button check, folks. Yeah, they have but JJ had plenty of time for that one. <laughs> so Kill Sage came in swinging. And the multi jab goes unpunished. That was actually the first fair to footstool that we uh, saw today. Yeah. You would think that maybe uh, Kill Sage would be uh, exhausted from all the games that he's had to play uh, pretty much all day. But he's just on fire right now. At the now. same time, people feed on that momentum as well. So. True. Like, once you're on a hot streak, you just want it to keep going. Oh, yeah. And he's probably feeling good taking away that melon from Mrs. Capcom. Even, even though that's not the game he's here for. Ooh, interesting mix up there. He was always angling it down at the ledge, and that yeah. time he just went straight forward thinking uh, JJ's going to try to edge guard me. And just flushing him out with the bears. Um, JJ just wants him off stage. Forcing the linear recovery we mentioned earlier with Fox. JJ can definitely take advantage of it. Staying alive at 106%. Oh! There to up smash to close it out with a two stock. Uh, to kill Sage goes up 1 0 on the JJ Rockets. Very quick. That was like a minute and a half, I think. Losers, right? Losers kind of. Wow. I mean, that'll happen when you get an early Gimp, uh, like yeah. you did at that first stock. And but, you uh, just ride that momentum and go so far. Seriously. Now, these are both two players that, as far as I'm concerned, don't have secondaries or pockets. Yeah. So we're, um, probably for the rest, we're going to be seeing uh, Fox, Diddy, and Cloud. I mean, just complete, they're just going to have to change their play styles completely and work with what they got. job with that banana trap. Definitely. Laser's coming out for a little bit of pressure that he just ducks under. Yeah, it's tough because it's like you get the banana, but at the same time you're eating five to eight percent from the lasers. That's the privilege that comes with being a short character. A bear, a bear? Wow, just making these Combo confirmed. Dude, he just proves just how much mileage you can get out of Fox's down airs. It's really one of his best combo starters. Wow, he just rolled over the banana, doesn't even get tripped up by it. And he oh. waits for the air dodge and gets the up air. Perfect timing by the kill sage. Yep, gets that first stock and has. And that's the second balloon he's popped today, so. He's winning on multiple <laughs> matchups right now. Now he's just trying to get as much percent as he can. Ooh, facing the wrong way from that down tilt. He's looking a little shook here. Use the piano. That was excellent. Use the pe the peanut to dash attack to oh get some. That, that's it. Oh, oh it would have been it. You think so? Uh, yeah, look. Gosh, like I don't know with Diddy Kong. But like, oh. Let's go. The kill stage with another two stock. Man, making that look easy. Two minutes flat. Now does this maybe have something to do with JJ just having to wait for so long? I don't. I mean, he was warming up. I guess another true. He Fox, was playing. So. I don't know. I don't, don't want to blame that. I don't know. We'll see. Going back to Smashville. I mean, other than a couple things that JJ can capitalize on, um, his combos, making sure, like, I haven't seen any, like, grabs. Oh, yeah. grabs, so, and he, and he hasn't been able to get his banana set up. So once he gets some of those going, uh, I can see a lot of this game turning around real quick. Definitely. And see, Diddy's more of, like, the... Like you said, like, figure out as you go strings while Fox has all these, like, really fast uh, combos and confirms he gets that early percent. But they both Ooh. efficiently rack up that percentage. 
uh, ooh, the drag down. Ooh. I don't know what he was planning with that, but it was going to be spicy if yeah, that well, banana wasn't there. I was going to say, the banana got in the way from a reset. JJ opting for the get-up attack. Actually a good option. There we go. The fair, the fair trend. Good patience for JJ. Take the banana. And Kim, folks, he's wearing the Violet uh, uh, tag right now. Because yep. he does look like Violet from The Incredibles. It's, once once they go to the player game, we're going to look at him and be like, oh, that is Violet. He's dressed up as Violet in The Incredibles before, too. Oh, there it is. The banana. Banana. There we go. And that's what we were talking about. Just get those banana down tilt conversions. Yep. And this game changes. Both players or both characters, I should say, don't have to work that hard for their kills, but getting to those, playing the neutral right and getting those, um, getting that percent is really what it takes. Yeah, because this is, this is a matchup where both characters are going to capitalize off of one mistake in the neutral. Definitely. Like that 56% oh, is basically from one trap from the beginning. The full hop dare and he couldn't oh, get it. Oh, That'll be I'm, I'm not sure what JJ was supposed to do in that situation. I mean, he was jumping would have been his best option, but Kill Sage could have looked for it. Right. Can we talk about how cool Fox's down throw is? True. He slaps you down and just shoots at you. That's pretty much pretty all of his throws are. Like, he throws you anywhere and he, Honestly, he no. aims his shots at you. Do you think uh, Falco's or Fox's are cooler? Oh, they're all pretty cool, dude. Oh, that kill. was slick. That was cool. And JJ says, I'm not going out of fight. <laughs> bring the second I'm looking at Dekil Sage. He was smiling. He was like, mm, that was pretty good. <laughs> that, was, that was all right. He's like, but was it under two minutes? <laughs> exactly. Opting for Smashville once again, maybe. Hmm. I'm not sure. They must be talking about something from that game of like why he did certain options. Or yeah. Something. Why would you have that discussion though? But maybe they're like <laughs> conditioning each other outside of the One, game. Go! Exactly. The meta within the meta. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh. Oh, back up. Air train. Oh, man. He was almost put into a tech situation where JJ could have reset the damage, but nope. The kill stage slipping right out of it. Out of all of JJ's opponents this tournament, I think the kill stage has definitely shown the best mastery with items and the item mechanics in Smash 4. True. He's just so good at uh, running up, catching him, turn around, catching him, catching him in the air. Like, my favorite was uh, when, he, when he got under with the shine and oh, no. popped it up. Oh, he had his jump. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Oh, banana to uh, charge up. Honestly, smack. JJ should just stop plugging bananas because the kill stage is converting it's, a lot off of them. Yeah, it's almost like Fox is the one. Oh, Woo! I'll do it! Woo! And he takes another two stock, closing out that set and advancing him to grand finals. Wonderful job by the kill stage. He's like, yo, put net up here. Put, put, put net up here. Come on. Wonderful showing by uh, JJ Rock. Like, shout out to the kill stage.